Hi everybody, this is Teacher Cheska and this is Science 9, Day 5, Morning Session and we will be talking about biodiversity and evolution. Okay, so the first part of this um, lesson, you will need to first answer the pretest that is here so under what i know so kopyaho nato insha and answer directly this is numbered 1 to 15 um capital letters only ang inyong answers pagkaw man atog answer ani let us proceed to lesson 1 this is the physical environment and population in an ecosystem so, at the end of this lesson, you have to explain the importance of biodiversity, enumerate the different limiting factors in the environment, and calculate population density. Okay? So, if you remember, in your 8th grade, you have learned the concept of species and classification of or organisms using the hierarchical taxonomic system and the advantage of high di biodiversity and maintaining the stability of an ecosystem. So, basically, we learn na importante yun na balance ang atong environment for biodiversity to increase and in the ecosystem, balance yun dapat ang atong environment. Ba? So, let's continue. You go on and learn that in our country, there is a high number of flora and fauna. Okay, So, flora for plants, fauna for animals. It is because of our location in the tropics. So, our country is very rich. So, recently, um, a lot of um, researchers have been here in our country because they found out na taghan yud, no? Biodiversity here in our country. So, let us continue. An ecosystem is a community of organisms interacting with the physical environment. It has two components, which is biotic and abiotic. So, biotic, buhi, abiotic, dili buhi. Okay. Now, limiting factors are also sometimes found in an ecosystem. And this is due to a lack of particular research. So, later on, you'll find out, no? What are the limiting factors? Your first activity is activity number one, build me up before you go. So, here, you will classify the limiting factors in an environment. So, what will we do? So, for number one, you are given a box and you will identify or classify it. Kung asa din ni ang limiting factors um, limiting factors ni tanan pero asa din ni kung biotic or abiotic. So, number one is already given ibutang na din ni sunlight, abiotic factor. Okay? Non-living thing siya. So, isulat lang, for example, competition. Living or non-living? Biotic or abiotic? So, isulat lang din biotic or abiotic factor. Number two, you have to choose three of the abiotic fact limiting factors and explain its importance in the environment. So, pili kag tulo na abiotic dani, then imo dayon isulat nga no importante to sila para sa atong environment. You can provide examples for each. Now, please uh, try to limit also your answers kung mahimo um Going lang ta from a maximum of 5 sentences. Kung kinahalan pag more, okay namang gyapon. Pero, just provide 3 of the factors and briefly explain. So, kayang-kaya yan. Na number 3, choose 2 biotic limiting factors and explain its importance. The same thing, pili lang tag dua ka biotic. Moving on, you have to read this. So, this is how it is all about um, the ecosystem. And it says here that changes to one part of the ecosystem will impact other parts. So, unsay buhaton sa isaka organism, 
maapektado ang uban pod. Okay? So, pareho mang gyapon na siya sa atong community din eh. Now, a limiting factor is a resource or environmental condition which limits the growth, distribution, or abundance of organisms within an ecosystem. So, like we said earlier, it can be biotic or abiotic. So, biotic limiting factors, some of them include food, mates, and competition. Abiotic, space, temperature, shelter, attitude, and amount of sunlight. Now, because of these limiting factors, they will also affect the carrying capacity of the ecosystem. What is carrying capacity? It refers to the maximum size of the population it can support. So, kung um, gamay ra ang pagkaon sa inyo bang pagtanaw, daghan ang mabuhi, maging nga na siya. So, ang carrying capacity mo depende na siya so unsa sad ang atong limiting factor. Biodiversity is a compound word derived from biological diversity. It refers to the variety of life in the area. So, if you look at the two pictures, tanawa na to asa ka din ang very rich in biodiversity. Daghan na lain-lain ng mga organism sa ilang area. Okay? So, you can answer um, the rest of the questions um, there no? as you read throughout. Population refers to the number of organisms of the same species living in a certain area. Groups of different population will then become a community. So, community with different species or high biodiversity will be able to withstand environmental changes better. It will increase the adaptability of the ecosystem to changing environmental conditions and thus increase the population density, the number of individuals in an area. And this will ensure or increase the survival of organisms in an ecosystem. Please excuse the background noise. Many factors affect the loss of biodiversity. So, syempre, um, kung low ang biodiversity mahimo uh, it will lead to species extinction so kung mubo siya malamang eventually mamatay or mawala so when the population of a species decreases rapidly the species is considered threatened so for a so pagpaspas ang pagka ano no ang population gagamay gagamay ang tawag ana threatened species so, they are also considered endangered because the population is very low. So, may endangered species na din siya. Extinction is when the last of the members of that species die. So, these are examples here of endangered and threatened species in the Philippines. So, we have the Tarshir, Philippine Eagle, and the Dugong. Okay. Another um, extinct species is called the dodo bird. So, this is the dodo bird. Yep, you can read this. And you will find out, no, mabuan ninyo, nga no, no, wala sila, nangamatay din sila tanan. Now, for activity number two, you will try to measure population density. So, mag-calculate ta. You have this um, figure and these are different um, organisms. So, Bermuda grass, tanan ng yellow na circle. Kogon grass, ang square na blue. And makahiya plant ang red na triangle. So, you study this and solve for the area. Okay, so solve for the area of this figure. This is the formula and this is the given. Length is 20 centimeters and width is 20 centimeters. Okay? Count the number of organisms in each population and record it on the table given below. So, ihapon, isulat. Given the formula below, compute for the density of each population. So, density is equal to the number of individuals over the size of the area. Okay? And then, you write down your answers here. 
then you also answer the guide questions. Again, please limit your answers for here um, up to one to three uh, sentences. Kung kinanlan pag more, three to five. Okay. The next activity this morning, you have to do activity three, connect and complete me. So here you are to create a graphic organizer about biodiversity. So copy and answer the concept map. Then you just have to complete it, no? Isulat lang dayon. You choose your answer from the boxes, uh, from the box here, and fill in the rest. After doing so, you will now be asked to examine a quadrat sampling. This is a basic method which organisms in a certain sample of the habitat are counted directly. So in the quadrat sampling, while staying at home, you will calculate the abundance of different species in a quadrat. So here, there is a prepared grassland quadrat and you don't need to copy this in your yellow pad paper. But if you want to, okay lang po. Suppose you go outside to do quadrat sampling in a nearby grassland. Imaginon lang. Your quadrat has a total of 25 quadrants. Okay, 25. Each quadrant has a length of 50 centimeters and its width is 50 centimeters the area of each quadrant is a um, here 2500 centimeters square study the patterns of population distribution of the given species as shown in the figure 7 name the species given species in each quadrant and count the number of individuals per species okay so these are the different species there are seven of them. And then, you compute for the density of each population by filling out the table below. So, the first quadrant is done as an example. Carabao grass ant. Okay. So, na count na niya. Carabao grass. Ah, this is the quadrant one. Okay, carabao grass, 4. Tama ba? 4. Tanaw na to. 1, 2, 3, 4. Correct. Ant. Pila ka ant. Isa ka ant. Total number of individuals per quadrant, 4 plus 1 equals 5. The density. So, 5 divided by 2,500 centimeter square and the answer is 0 0.002 centimeter per centimeter square. Okay? So, yung anak lang pag-answer. So, sa number 2, tanawin ninyo ang quadrant 2. Pila may naadini. So, you look. Makahiya plant and carabao grass. Sila lang ba? So, muna na siya mong sulat din na. And so on and so forth. Carry, carry lang. Okay. Then, you answer... Question 6, 7, 8, and 9. Again, limit your answers to 3 to 5 sentences only. And that's it for this morning. So, good luck and see you again. Bye!